You know, I think the the main thing that most people in the world are going to see is the new version of Meta AI, mm. right? So it's um, and you know, the most important thing about what we're doing is the upgrade to the model. We're rolling out Llama three. We're doing it both as open source for the the dev community, and it is now going to be powering Meta AI. Um, so you know, there's a lot that I'm sure we'll go into around Llama three, but I think the bottom line on this is that. With Llama 3, we now think that Meta AI is the most intelligent AI assistant that people can use that's freely available. Um, we're also integrating Google and Bing for real-time knowledge. Um, we're going to make it a lot more prominent across our apps. So, you know, basically, you know, at the top of WhatsApp and Instagram and Facebook and Messenger, uh, you'll just be able to, um, you know, use the search box right there to ask, ask in any question. Um, and there's a bunch of new creation features that we, that we added that I think are pretty cool that I think people enjoy. Uh, you know, I think animations is, is a good one. Um, you can basically just take any image and animate it. But I think one that, that, uh, people are going to find pretty wild is, uh, it now generates high quality images so quickly. I don't know if you've gotten a chance to play with this, that it actually generates it as you're typing and updates it in real time. So you're like typing your query and it's, and it's kind of like honing in on, and, and, you know, it's like, okay, here, um, you know, show me a picture of a, a cow, okay, in a field with mountains in the background. It's just like everything macadamia popular. nuts. Yeah, eating macadamia <laughs> nuts, drinking beer, and like it just and and it's just like it's updating the image in real time. It's pretty wild. I think people are going to enjoy that. Um, so yeah, so that I think is that's what most people are going to see in the world, right? We're rolling that out. Um, you know, not everywhere, but we're starting in um, in a handful of countries, and we'll do more over the coming weeks and months. Um, so that's that I think is going to be a pretty big deal. Um, and I'm really excited to get that in people's hands. You know, we got into this situation where, um, you know, we always want to have enough capacity to build something that we can't quite see that we're on the horizon yet. Um, and we got into this position with Reels where we needed more GPUs to train the models, right? It was, it was this big evolution for our services where instead of just ranking content from people who you follow mm -hmm. or your friends and, and whatever pages you follow, um, we made this big push to basically start recommending what, what we call unconnected content it basically connect content from people or pages that you're not following. So now kind of the, the corpus of, of kind of content candidates that we could potentially show you expanded from, you know, on the order of thousands to on the order of, hundreds of millions. So completely different infrastructure. And we um, started working on, on doing that. And we were constrained on, um, on basically the infrastructure that we had to catch up to what TikTok was doing as quickly as we would have wanted to. Um, so I basically looked at that and I was like, hey, we have to make sure that we're never in this situation again. So let's order enough GPUs to do what we need to do on reels and ranking content and feed, but let's also let's double that, right? Because again, like our normal principle is, there's going to be something on the horizon.